In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to admit more than 100 members in Google Meet as a free user. You might be facing the limitations of a free Google account, which typically allows only up to 100 participants in a single Google Meet session. However, with a clever workaround, you can effectively manage and host a larger audience. Let me guide you through this process. The first step is to go to Google Calendar. This is where you'll set up your Google Meet sessions, so head over to your browser and open Google Calendar. Once you're there, click on an existing schedule for a Google Meeting. This is essential as it determines the specifics of your meeting, such as the time and participants. If you don't have a meeting scheduled yet, you may want to do that first. Now that you've selected a scheduled meeting, look for the option that says Join with Google Meet and click on it. This will take you to your meeting room where you can see who is currently in the meeting and manage the session. After you've joined the meeting, click on Join Now to enter the live session. It's important to ensure everything is set up correctly, from your microphone to your camera, making sure you're prepared to interact with participants. Next, return to Google Calendar again. Yes, we'll be managing two sessions, so go ahead and click on another scheduled Google Meeting. This allows you to split your participants across two separate meeting links seamlessly. Once in the second scheduled meeting, again look for and click on Join with Google Meet. You'll follow the same process, ensuring you're now present in two different Google Meet sessions. Click Join Now to enter this second meeting room. By participating in both meetings, you create the ability to host a larger number of attendees by having them distributed across these two sessions. Now, here's the crucial part sharing your screen. For the first Google meeting, click on the option to share screen. This way, participants in this session can see your presentation or get information you're sharing, just like they would in a normal meeting. You'll then need to do the same for the second Google meeting. Go ahead and click on share screen for this session as well. This ensures that attendees in both meeting rooms are receiving the same content and information. This method allows you to effectively manage more than 100 participants by running parallel sessions and sharing the same content. It requires some multitasking and quick switching between windows, so make sure your setup allows for smooth transitions. With practice, this workaround allows you to extend your reach without needing to upgrade your plan, giving you the flexibility and capacity that you need.